I'll get back to the serious stuff. Conference realignment, right? We've been talking all about it with USC and UCLA joining the Big Ten in the future. What are your thoughts on all the changes in college football with the NIL, with realignment, and where it's headed? Yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot of chaos right now. I mean, it really is. There's a lot of stuff going on, and and it's all come at once. Well, kind of been a perfect storm because it's all happened so fast. You know, between you know uh, immediate eligibility with transfers and certainly the NIL and and then uh, all the expansion, mega conferences, uh, you know, TV, all the stuff that's out there. It's a lot, um, and uh, you know, it's a good time to be a media person because you got a lot to talk about. Uh, but but for us as coaches, we don't control any of that. I mean, so, you know, we focus on the things that we do control. And, you know, the NIL has been a good thing for us at Clemson. Uh, you know, we, we, the, the, the transfer thing hasn't been a major factor for us at Clemson. Uh, we've just continued to do things, you know, the Clemson way. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that, you know, I'm going on year 20, my 14th year as the head coach, and we have an established culture because, quite honestly, the more chaos that, it's, that has happened, um, I think the better things have been for us here at Clemson. And uh, the more appealing we've become because we do have structure. We have uh, a lot of continuity and consistency and, and an, again, an established um, and well-connected authentic culture. So uh, that has kind of won the day for us and, and steadied the ship. And uh, it's exciting though, there's a lot of change and, and uh, you know, who knows what's gonna happen you know, next year, five years from now, 10 years from now. But the one thing I do know, you know, people love college football. And, uh, and you know, it's, all, it's not going away. There's probably going to be some change and some people uncomfortable. And, you know, because and, and even for me, I love tradition. And there's probably going to be traditional matchups that you don't have anymore. Uh, but ultimately, I think most football people know this thing is, is going to end up in some type of expanded playoff. And, and that's really, I think, what's driving all this. And Clemson can call their own shots because that's Clemson. He's done such a tremendous job there. Mm -hmm. uh, is Dabo still there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we still uh, have Dabo. Dabo, what's the story about losing your defensive coordinator? Gets a great job there at Oklahoma. We know he's great. Give me a little rundown on your coaching staff losing Venables. Go ahead. Let me hear. Yeah, yeah. So this is probably the most transition we've had, Mad Dog, uh, since 2011. And it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm so happy for Brent Venables, first of all. I mean, he's turned down a bunch of coaching opportunities. I've been with him for 10 years, and to see him get this opportunity at Oklahoma, which is an incredible uh, university, great tradition. Man, nobody deserves it more. He's so well prepared. He's going to do an amazing job. He's got a good staff. And uh, it's been fun to kind of communicate with him as he's gotten going. And same thing with Tony Elliott, my offensive coordinator. I, I've been with Tony 19 years. I coached him. Uh, you know, he, he I hired, gave him his you know, first job at this level and then made him the coordinator. To see him get the opportunity at Virginia is a blessing uh, for he and his family. He's going to do a great job. So it's sad to see those guys go because you're not going to get to be with them every day. But it's, it's, it's fun, too, because you get a chance to give some other people the opportunity that deserve it. And to see Wes Goodwin and and uh, Brandon Streeter to be able to step into the new roles. Wes Goodwin's our D coordinator, and Brandon Streeter's our, our offensive coordinator. Uh, and then some, some support staff changes and other guys getting new opportunity through the change. It's exciting, and it's been a lot of fun to get back uh, you know, on the field this past spring and start putting it all together. And, and uh, we actually had the bowl game to kind of get a trial run. So you know, it, it won't be our first time against Georgia Tech uh, because you know, Tony and Brent were gone you know, by the time the bowl game got here. Uh, but looking forward to, to going to work with this staff. It's a great group of people. I think it's a special time, uh, special, a special staff, and, and, uh, and a special team that we have uh, this year. Yep, the Dabo coaching tree, it's spreading. You know what, Dabo, let's go out and have a little fun here. So Mad Dog, when he heard you were on, you know, he's like, I cannot wait to ask him if he could show me how to do the gritty. And he, Mad Dog has really uh, wanted you to take him through that. You know, he's seen the videos, and I, I'll, I'll just let you have your moment together. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Well, look at it. I mean, <laughs> that is flow. That is well, rhythm. See how he got low, too? It's conditioning. We, we have a pro I have a problem with that because we have a rule at our ladies' clinic <laughs> that what happens at the ladies' clinic stays at the ladies' clinic. But apparently, <laughs> uh, like, they, like my players, like my players, they don't always listen. So 
But I learned how to gritty from my players. They teach me everything. We actually had a gritty off in our team meeting one day. And uh, so that's kind of how I learned the, the proper technique, you know, with your heel. And so that was, that was the, the dance of choice this ladies' clinic. I love the team meeting. He learned the proper technique at the team meeting. I uh, listen, you know, I just thought of something else, Devil. Let me ask what? you quickly. Your quarterback plays at Notre Dame this year in November. And he played the Notre Dame game a couple years ago and lost. That would be an interesting motivational game for him. You know that? For all of us, you know. But he lost, but he set the all-time record for passing in, that, in the history of, 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 of Notre Dame. But, and it was a double overtime loss uh, right in the pandemic. And a great win for Notre Dame. But that, that, that's a game I'm looking forward to. That was the only time I've ever been there. So I'm excited to go up there and to see the stadium full and, and have another opportunity at those guys. Well, Mad Dog has a daughter there, so that might be the game. That, that might be the game you fun. need to yes, catch, indeed. right? That's for sure. Dabo, you're the best. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for putting up with us. Enjoy the rest of ACC Media Day. All right, and tell Stephen A. I hope he gets well. Y'all have fun. Thank you. I will. Take Go care. Go Tigers. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.